so glad I came. Two days, like the first day was the consultation, plus preparing my tooth, plus the first whitening. And the second day yesterday was putting the crown in and then the second whitening. And then today, check out, is my driver just leaving. <laughs> so I've just been dropped off. I need this cute little bag. I'm just gonna go inside and then talk about this. Okay, okay. hi travelers. <laughs> I mean, still to the lake. So one of the good things about coming to Turkey is the dental tourism. It's not something I've ever participated in before. The place I went with is the dental center in Turkey. And I'll put the link in the description box below. This is not an affiliate link or anything. There are so many places. So I don't know necessarily why you would choose this one or why you would choose another one if you've never done it before, which I never have. I literally watched a video, I don't you love the YouTube algorithm sometimes? The guy, um, Jord on The Life of Jord came here for, I think, veneers? And he'd also left the link in the description box below, so literally I just followed that. The difference was he'd sort of negotiated with them, but he didn't, he wasn't transparent about what he got. You're in a dentist chair for hours. It's A, not exciting footage. I know that when I broke my tooth, which I did make a video on when I just recently moved to Kuwait, the dentist there that put my crown in told me that like the dentists in Turkey are really great. I kept that in mind because I've had a lot of fillings. I have a lot of fillings. Of course, then when I'm in China, one of my teeth breaks and I'm like, ugh. So I went to the dentist there. They told and that I needed a root canal and that I would then get a crown. So I was sort of saving up for that because like I wasn't in any pain, it was like a back tooth. But of course, like in Kuwait, they said, you have to come back several times. And as it gets into winter, I'm like, I really don't want to go anywhere. <laughs> so then when I realized I was coming here, I was like, let me look it up. But it was a lovely clean place. They organized the transport there. I came to Fethiye purely because of that. Now then before I came, and they just wanted to know what my flight was, my passport number, I think, and then where I was going to stay. Apparently from April to November is their busy period. And that's not to say that they can't fit you in at all, because they can and they'll make it work. It just means that there's lots of people coming and going. Whereas at some point I was the only person in reception. And I mean, obviously that's how it's been in Turkey full stop at this point. So it is good to come in winter. Their little booklet thing. They really should have given this on like the first day because maybe you want other things. So it says here by time limit five days. So today is Saturday. My first appointment was on Tuesday. That first appointment took a long time because they told me different information than what I'd been told in China and I didn't need a root canal, which is great. But obviously the prices, and that's literally what's on the bag here, say beautiful smiles at affordable prices. I love that that's their little tagline. <laughs> now the two times that they have broken are just at really inconvenient times and basically now it means I just need to save up. Ultimately, it would be better to come back here. I had such a nice time. They were so lovely. They were so helpful. Even in their emails initially, before they gave me an appointment, they were very transparent with the cost. They said, okay, this is how much a root canal is. And even on their website, they list prices. So you have an idea and you can decide if it's going to be charged in euros or USD. I'm like, yeah, whatever. Like, it, <laughs> neither of them are my currency. But I just paid with my regular credit card when I arrived. Obviously, I told my bank that I would be making purchases here in Turkey. But it went through fine. This is editing me because for some reason, when I was sitting making the video in Turkey, I didn't actually say what the price was. However, now it's made me look back at the email. So even before I left, they gave me, honestly, look at all of this information. Huge, huge amounts of information, which is great because, you know, you're traveling there and you don't know. So I got lots of different options. I had five different options actually of the kind of crown that I could get. But obviously it was discussed with through me and that's why that first appointment took so long. I got a pricing breakdown of every single option. So this was information before I even left home, before I even had confirmed that I was making the appointment. Also, I need to say, which I had completely forgotten, you get a 10% cash or card discount. So, for example, 
option one is it says like the metal porcelain crown, root canal, whitening, scale and polish. Oh yes, because I also just wanted a regular checkup as well. And then it shows the 10% discount. So it doesn't matter if you use Visa or MasterCard, 10% off. So brilliant. So the root canal was $65. Scale and polish, $50. So the crown, $190 per crown. Teeth whitening is $450. The just various different types of crowns just went up in price from there. So I'll show on a fully inclusive all treatments, including x-rays, numbing, lab fees, dentist time, all of that. So there's no, and it actually says on this email, there are no hidden extras or taxes payable. The most expensive option was going to be $891 US dollars. Mine didn't come to that. Way cheaper than what it would have been in if I'd done it at home in New Zealand. Cheaper than in China too, I'm sure. But as I say, because I live here and so I have insurance, so I would have got some money back for that. But the convenience, even though it's inconvenient because you're on holiday, and I don't know if I'd really sort of said that too much while I was in Turkey. It's like it's it is days out of your holiday. If you're getting things like teeth whitening, it's painful. And so had I have wanted to do some other touristy stuff aside from just kind of generally walking around on those particular days, I would have been quite useless. And if I'd gone with somebody else, I would have felt really bad because I would have had to pull out of whatever the organized thing was that we were gonna do that day. They did give me prescriptions and so the driver would take me from the front of the dental clinic to the pharmacy, wait while I went inside the pharmacy, then take me from the pharmacy back to my accommodation. Back to the video. Professional teeth are watching. And yeah, two two sessions, in most cases, two sessions of up to 40 minutes. That's exactly what I had. It's, it's a temporary thing. It's going to go back to my regular colour. You know, they say three to four months. One benefit which I didn't see as opposed to being in Istanbul, because this is a small town, village, <laughs> everything's quite close. So, for example, this morning, if I'd wanted to get up and go for a walk and then come back for my pickup, I totally could have. Literally, I never would have come to this, this town without knowing that this was a thing. The only problem with coming to Fetia for it is that, and this is just a me thing, I'm not big on transferring. <laughs> so like the airport's like a good hour away, let's be honest, by bus. And then the bus station from like this old town part, then you've got to get in a taxi, which I have no idea how much that was. Fortunately, I actually walked, but it was, you know, well, it was flat, so it's fine. But because I only had carry-on, like, that's doable. But if I had, you know, a medium or even large suitcase, that would be a pain. That also offered, like, um, to pay for, like, an airport transfer, which was, like, and they worked in euros, so I guess maybe their major market is the European market. But of course a euro means nothing to me and it just seemed expensive but also because I had no idea that the airport was so bloody far away. And then they also suggested some accommodation places and that's it, they want you to get some accommodation within whatever radius. So when I was looking, this is an Airbnb that I'm sitting in, I should actually do a little tour here because I've really, gosh, this Airbnb has been so nice. What's great is that they are able to do it in a much shorter period of time. Like, my dentist had said, I think I was going to have to come back like five or six times for a crown. And of course that's over how many weeks? <laughs> it's not like in five consecutive days. Oh, and then you get a guarantee as well. So you get a five-year guarantee, which is basically like if it breaks. So until the year. Oh, there's no guarantee for root canals. Yeah, crown slash full veneers. Oh, and then if you don't want to come back, you can get a hundred euros. Well, that's not going to cover much, is it? It was a lot of pages that needed to be signed over the three days. In the event that you need to return to Turkey for corrective treatment, if a defect happens, then they're going to contribute 150 euros. Which, you know, if you could get a cheap flight from Europe, might be actually quite good, but... They wanted a copy of my flight ticket arrival, and they wanted a copy of my accommodation booking, because also that says the address, so... 
I guess to like guarantee that I'm literally coming but when I made that booking I'm like I still haven't left China yet so it was made so easy. Do you think my teeth are whiter than my last video? <laughs> they should be. I just want to do an update so it's been two months, three months? Two, it's been two months since I've had my tooth put in. Obviously, like anything, when you get something new in your mouth, you're like, oh, what is this? But then you get used to it, and I've had absolutely no issues with it whatsoever. I know, like it says on all of the materials that they let you take away, there's a warranty for five years, but so far, so good. I would definitely go back again, and even as I reflect on this and I look at the prices. And I'm thinking about when I'm gonna get my next scale and polish going. Is it gonna be 50 US dollars? US dollars for a scale and polish for you is much cheaper. I would even just do that. Like, just go and get a, just a checkup while you're in Turkey. That'll be, you know, super short appointment. How wonderful.